Hello, I'm Otis Corbett, and today I would like to share a word about isolation as I comment on Matthew chapter 14, verse 23. My comments today are the third and last in a series of articles about how my military experience as a chaplain has helped me apply biblical truths to my life as I deal with stress and difficult times. Now, the last time we were together, I noted how God had taught me not to borrow trouble from tomorrow, but instead to focus on my current situation in a time of stress. Often, fasting from news media, social media, and other stressful stimuli is the best way to manage our stress. We must be careful, however, not to take that to the extreme. Let me illustrate what I mean. Once, during an exercise at Camp Shelby, Mississippi, I received a radio message that a soldier attached to us from another unit was distressed and I needed to check on him. Well, when I arrived at his location, I found the young man sitting in the back of an armored personnel carrier and he was just staring off into space and he wasn't communicating with anybody. He had what we call the thousand yard stare. Now, my chaplain assistant and I ushered him into our vehicle and took him back to his own unit and we placed him in the hands of their medics because there was nothing I could do to help him because he wasn't talking to anybody. Later, I learned that after a good night's sleep, the young man was fine, but his experience is instructive for us. You see, like Jesus, we do need to separate ourselves from the world from time to time. That's right, Jesus did that. For example... Matthew 14, 23 tells us, And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. The revival preacher Vance Havner preached a sermon once titled, Come Apart Before You Come Apart, which is excellent advice. We must be careful to avoid a trap, however, as we employ this technique. If we are not careful, withdrawal from the world can become an end into itself. And that's not what Jesus had in mind. The young soldier at Camp Shelby had withdrawn into himself so much that he had become virtually catatonic. When we withdraw so totally from the world that we fail to engage it at all, then we've taken this too far and we've become dysfunctional and emotionally and physically ill. Jesus did withdraw from the crowds and his disciples, but only for as long as it took for him to recharge his spiritual and emotional and social batteries. Once he had accomplished this, he re-engaged people and continued to pursue his mission of seeking and saving those who were lost. Jesus did not allow isolation and solitude to become his master, but instead he mastered these for his own purposes. We must learn to do the same, because if we withdraw from this world, we cannot go into it and make disciples of all peoples. And if we do that, we fail ourselves and we fail our God. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another word we can share together. Every blessing. I'm Otis Corbett.